It is I, Jennifer Hardwick, your favorite bad girl, hosting the Chasing Dallas Reunion. Get ready for a night of confrontation, emotions, and the truths. So I come up here. You and your friend are very fucking weird. You're a fucking bad for getting a fucking blue. I'm not Jesus. I feel like this. I'm, 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 I'm not. Okay, go ahead. You're, you're done. That's something very serious. You don't play with me. I've never started anything with anyone on this cast. I do not like you. You are never nobody that I would ever put in my circle. Are you easy, baby? Wait a minute. <laughs> so you are a gas station employee. Area, so see you coming back next week. I want it to be messy because this is the language and everybody talks. What I'm saying is the right thing. They gonna spend on that. That's fine. Worry about that paper. It's time with the trauma bond and just get to know. I trauma bond. No time to waste. Let's dive right in. What's up, everyone? I'm Jennifer Hardwick, your favorite bad girl, and the Chase in Dallas season five reunion host. If you can't tell, we are here at the Fab House of Jones, and this season has been nothing but shade, no bars, and no keys. I'm here to get to the bottom of everything. Welcome to the reunion. Okay, so we have Jet Jet. Oh, yes. Let me see this outfit. This outfit is amazing. We kind of, we kind of, yeah, we you know, kind of had the same talk. Top three girls really match, you know, <laughs> get the same energy, so, you know, it's cute. 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 This is true. I love your look. Your Thank look you, Mommy. You look beautiful. Yes, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Feeling bad, look bad. Yes. And, you know, amazing. And we have seven. What's up, baby? You look amazing. Thank you so much. You Very see. chill. You laid out. You yes. Know, it's one of those days. I'm just chilling today. You okay. know? It's calm vibes. It's maybe. Okay. I'm going off everybody else vibes. Okay. I'm clocked in. Well, and then um, Justin, JC. Hi. So we are at the Fab House of Jones. Yes. And you been at the Fab. Thank you. And this is from my showroom. It's custom beach, silk and border silk and ostrich feathers with Louboutin shoes. So, you know, wanted to do something um, fun and Met Gala inspired for the reunion. I love it. I love Trying it. to be a great host. Thank, Thank you. Welcome to the reunion. OAC, though. You know, it's very well, close. Close the building. How long, though? You know? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. How long? Get a very, very hot city in this building. Yeah, it is hot. Um, but unfortunately, I don't actually own the building. I do lease the penthouse space here, and I have contacted maintenance, so they're actually on top of it as we speak. Okay. As you do know, it gets very hot in Dallas. So air condition problems are something that happens to everyone at the beginning of the summer, towards the beginning of the summer. So people with businesses and actual businesses and actual buildings know that. Hey. How long, babe, though? We'll see how long. Oh, we started is. already? Oh. We didn't even start right. five minutes in. This is true. So, um, Robert. What's up? You look amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. you. Look, you look I love you this. Look great you look great as well. Like you're ready for the reunion, is that right? Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, coming with the good vibes? Absolutely, always, always. Okay, you, know. you look great. Thank Happy you. to have you here. Thank you. Uh, Fabulous as always. I love your style. You're always you. just incognito, but very present. Thank so, you. I love that. Thank Are you ready? Always. Best behavior, right? I don't know, I'm not promising that. Okay. <laughs> and Marquise. Hello, how are you? Welcome to you the reunion. To Thank you. You look amazing Thank as well. You. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Good. I'm optimistic. I'm excited to be here. Nice. Well, we're excited to have you. Thank you. Astro, are you in the building? Yes, I'm in the building. I'm here. Hey, hey Jen. Look amazing. Thank you. I love the look. Thank I love you. the layers. Yeah. And then we have PC. What's up? PC, you look very amazing. Thank I you. love the outfit. You look super clean. I just wanted something to, to hug my body, you know, just <gasps> something tight, you know. Yeah. So, a little I bit mean, of everything. You love yourself. I do. Thank you. And then I would introduce Keyshawn, but I don't see Keyshawn here. My friend has strep throat. And the hockey did training very well. So for the best of everyone, you know, we don't want to get anyone sick. So he's starting not to come. Definitely don't want to get sick. So we all agree that, that Keyshawn is in. Okay. His spirit is here, though. And then I would introduce Ariel as well, but I don't see Ariel. Yeah, my good sister, she has some other things to do. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, send her our well wishes. I will. I will. Definitely. Okay, so do we all understand the purpose of the reunion? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, we understand that we're going to talk about some unresolved issues. That's okay with everybody, right? Yeah. Okay. Child. Okay. Just go. Because my goal today is just to get everything out there. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. Let's have a discussion, right? Okay. So that means everybody gets a chance to talk, right? Yes. Okay, so from the real estate license being real or fake to someone trying to be a friend and it led to some questions that didn't get answered, 
let's take a look back at Ted and Keyshawn. You know, at the reunion, Ted Lee had pulled out this bag of trees. I am uh, actually a broker, too. And he showed us the, you know, broker's license with his name on it. So one of my friends moved to Dallas, so I gave them Ted Lee's name, and they went in the Texas database, and they couldn't find him. This is the building? This is the building. So look, unfortunately, I couldn't get the keys. Y'all wasn't invited to tell the event. Oh no, I was invited, but I didn't go. Everybody wants to put on for the cameras, but I'm doing my big one with success. And however, comma, I also heard that the book has a lot of grammatical errors, so we should have hired a proofreader before you publish. Uh -huh. I'm here, and Keyshawn is going around bickering about uh, a past individual that Asher and I had relations with. That's old news. Oh. Yeah, that's old. Oh. I have my brother's so license. So you fake that? No, I have my brother's license. I see that you have a liar once again amongst the group. Why show us these documents that could be potentially falsify it's just incriminated on so many different ways right what i do is legit what you see is legit what you see online is my business i haven't seen no fashion articles or no blogs or anything out recently what you got going on so i mean at this point i have nothing for Keyshawn or against him again we can be cordial around each other but i mean at the end of the day there's nothing against him it is what it is jesus Hi, Mercy. Too bad the elephant's not here. It's oh. unfortunate that Keyshawn isn't here to speak his part or even, you know, say his side of it. But, um, you know, many viewers had questions. You know, a lot had to say a lot about your license right. and presenting, you know, that last year. Um, we did verify that, in fact, if you do not sell a house, then your license does get revoked, right? Um, oh, why not just be honest? Well, here's the thing. There's two sides of the situation. So in that moment, when he was talking to Sean, Sean and Rob were talking outside of that scene. At that time, my license did become inactive because also you have to retake your state exam after a certain amount of time. So at that time, I did not retake my exam. So I went on an active status. Now, if Keyshawn would have came to me and said, hey, Fred, I don't see your name in the system, he would have that information too. But I believe that he wanted to use that as a wedge or a topic of conversation to gossip about. Now, fast forward to today, what I do is legit. I don't just sell. I manage properties. I manage HOAs. I do it all. I'm jack of all trades in real estate. Real estate is not about sales. So that's what it is. You ain't that well said. You ain't that friend. <laughs> that clears that, right? And just to be clear, you can go to jail for making a license. So I'm still here. I'm not in jail. Uh, I'm very legit. I network with so many brokers in Dallas all over. So check the references. I have references. I'm legit. You heard that? Yeah. <laughs> he was having a shit back. Okay. Well, today. <laughs> Perfect. We'll, we'll just, we'll send Perfect. that out there. I, I really hate that he's not here to be able to yeah. say this. It's unfortunate, you know, you try to tear other black gay men down by assumption, but you have nothing tangible that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Jesus! I, I do want to say that I feel like he was just really trying to give you a house to sell, like, another friend. Mm -hmm. Like, he was supporting, trying to support your business. This is what I'm gathering from that. And just trying to support your business and for him to, like, see that you don't have the lights and it kind of affects no, them no, in a no, way no, 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 no. and so that's why hold on baby i'm just letting you know what i'm saying but like i just feel like he wanted to come to you about to give you business and he just found the bond about that he didn't i feel like it wasn't much much intent there's a difference between asking a friend from a friend asking about something as a reference to validate your credentials versus going to gospel about it without you becoming a source first exactly so let's 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 start there because i had many people coming to me saying hey what's this we know you you know, manage this property. We know you did this deal before in the past, so why are they slamming your name? That's something very serious. You don't play with it. So you're upset that he came to rob it with that information. They should let you say this. I'm not even upset. What I am disappointed about is that if you still called one to have a genuine friendship with me, you should have came to me. Man to man. Point blank period. Well, but one on one. I understand. Which I get that. Actually I get brings that. us to a few questions from the viewers, right? So what do you think what do you think about this? What do you, um, you know, him showing you the property with no keys and how did you feel about that? Um, to be honest, I, <laughs> Child, I would, I honestly didn't expect him to not have any keys. I thought we was actually going to view a property. Um, I tried to make light of the situation. I was uh, irritated because I had other things that I could have been doing. But being me, I tried to make light of the situation. Um, but yeah, I was disappointed that he didn't have the keys to show. Um, no shade. No, I get that. We, and we spoke about this a little mm -hmm. further because it actually was a Sunday. 
Uh, that actual building had multiple units in it. So the actual owner of the whole facility, I had to get the keys from him. He did have a lockbox on the outside of the building, but it was not working at the time. So the owner just was not able to physically give me the keys. So I told Robert, you know, hey, I did, I did some pictures on the inside. Yeah. Okay. So now, Tedley, you mentioned on Instagram Live that you don't have to answer to anyone. Also, that you have nothing to prove. Do you still feel that way? Absolutely. <laughs> You, you kind of do know. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like what I just said is what it is. Now, that did completely take me off guard because I thought that was all the top two girls. So when Sean volunteered that information yeah, to that me, I was crazy. like, whoa, but tell me more. Yeah. And I'm very clear. I have real friends off this cast. So when I came on this cast, I was not looking to make friends. I was looking to build business relationships. So at the end of the day, where Sean and I stand at is what it is. I don't care. Um, I wish them well, no bad blood. But again, if you consider me as a friend, you should have came to me, talk to me. Do you feel like him putting that information out there has hurt your business in any, any type of way? Not necessarily. I think it has probably tampered my name in some kind of way. But at the end of the day, um, I always bounce back with anything. I'm blessed, very blessed. So JC, Teddy's your friend. Mm -hmm. And it's been said that you knew this information or you cut I knew what information. Just about his license and well, there no, being some. I don't know the inner workings of, I don't know who said that or where that came from, but I don't know anybody's inner workings or whatever. I'm friends with Telly because of how he's treated me and how he's been a genuine and loyal despite anything that's going on. Actually, Telly and I became very, very close during my breakup right after I broke up. It's actually when Telly and I started hanging out, becoming very close. We didn't have to talk about business or I'd have to put up or be JC Jones in front of him. And that's actually why I liked being around Telly so much because I felt like both of us were able to let our guards down. So I don't care if Telly got a license, don't got a license. I don't care if he got a degree, don't got a degree. All I care about is a person's character and how they treat me. And he's been treating me right well. That's all I can say. Okay, so does anyone else here feel like we are getting the truth? And can we date it? getting the truth that he had the license. If that's the truth that you need, do you feel like that's settling or is there still just maybe like not the whole truth? I feel like that's settling. I do too, because I don't, I don't know nobody. I mean, and this is no shade to nobody, but for shade to you though. But I don't think, you, nobody, you're trying to buy no house or have a capacity to buy a house right now. So I don't, I mean, why, why does it matter? Capacity to buy a house. Well, well, let me just say this. Let me, okay. I, I, don't know, hold on. I don't know anybody else in this room that's in real estate, first off. Mm -hmm. So when you're not in the industry, you can't really say much about it unless you know what's going on. And just to be clear, you can not have a license and still participate in real estate. You can be a broker's agent. You can be a real estate agent, a listing agent. Um, you can actually work in open houses and show those two as well. You just can't go to the closing table and facilitate the deal. To be honest, I think it's just what you said last year is different what you're actually doing this year. That's the whole more to the story. So if you would just say what you have, are doing this year with the HOA, mm -hmm. what you was doing last year, then it will all be like clear, but it's just, it. it looks different. So I get of course it. people are going to have questions. No, absolutely. I get it. And I was doing HOA management still last year too. It was just a combination of the both things I was doing. But you but didn't I spoke that. mostly about Correct. real estate. So Correct. Then. So, Again, I'm the jack of all trades in real estate, so I'm at embellish more about the sales part then versus now. But that's just what it is at the end of the day. I do it all. Okay. Now, what about that book, friend? You have words in the front now? Oh, well, the book did you buy? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no words in the front. I don't want to buy it. I just want to know if there is. Oh, they said it was a lot of grammar. Okay, so. There's no words. Okay, so, so, no words. So, I'm just going to say, let's just clear air here. The book has about 175 pages in it. Um, there was a first batch that went out on Amazon that was not um, edited or not. Okay, because okay. I was in the same brain because I read the book. I read the book. And the book did have grammatical errors. So, no, I'm actually the, I'm actually the right person because when I was 16, I published the book. Right. So, and I'm a poet. So I read the book and I was just like, I will hear you. I was like, I thought that myself. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's the eight I thought that there are some issues and I contacted them immediately. So if you get online today and purchase the updated copies, they're all rich. Can I say something else? Can I say something Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Also, it takes hard determination to pour your life out in the book. I don't give a fuck if it has five pages, bitch. 
it's still out. All right. Okay. okay. Well, I don't want this conversation, you know, to okay. come back up. Yeah. So, does anyone have any final words? Oh no, we're good. <laughs> I do. Have, uh, I actually do have some final words. What I was going to say earlier was I don't understand why. It is such a thing for everyone to tear down what everybody's trying to do. I think that is so sad. Mm -hmm. If he wrote Green Eggs and Ham, one, two, three, A, B, C, child, the fact that he did something, I feel like it's commendable. But I feel like anytime anyone on this cast does something, right. it's always torn down and dissected, like literally like a like a like a frog, like in a science project. It's just like where did any of us get any room to judge anybody for what anybody is doing? So why do you do it? I was gonna, you I was, do the exact same thing though, JC. You can't just say that and you do the same thing. Okay. Like I get what you're let saying, me, and let, that's fine. Let me break it down. let me let me, let me let me break let me let me break it down okay. for you, okay? Because no, you don't have to. Girl, I'm good. You well, you have some questions. Topic. You just asked the question. I'm gonna let you know. You just, just, okay. okay. you you just oh. asked the yeah. question. Yeah. So, if anyone, if, if I am, please correct me if I'm wrong. I've never started anything with anyone on this cast. Am I wrong? Great, but you still did. Okay. I did. Regar I was, regard regard me and my so and I am going to defend myself. Right? I am going to, to defend myself. To, okay, to defend myself. To, okay first. It. Okay. Do, 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 but I'm also calling you James Ja Rule. Yeah, but I'm not. In the, right. in the same no, breath. No, you you, you do that. Am I, be little my name. Am I, am I, am I, right, girl, don't listen. We're not. We don't have to talk about that. We can move on. So with that being said, if I called him J Lo as many times as I said Ja Rule, and with that being said, it was he was taken out of context because what I was saying was that y'all should collaborate like J Lo and Ja Rule. I didn't get it like that. Commercial break. Commercial break. So things are getting heated. We kind of need a little pull off here. Everybody go to their corners. So we're gonna take a little commercial break. Jesus. <laughs> Woo, today. I was trying to figure out when I uh, we we even get to the yeah, 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 yeah,
already got my crown. Baby, what are you doing? Who the fuck your skate bubble into my toe? Hey, fuck your ass. Sorry. Hey, you got to take me to Chasing Orlando, new series, premieres this summer, only on Chasing Reality. Welcome back to the Chasing Dallas Season 5 reunion. I don't like you. I don't know you. Before JC and Keyshawn even shared the same space, the tension was hot with Shay being thrown left and right. This explosive relationship seemed to appear out of nowhere but let's see where things went wrong. So I brought JC, of course, with me to introduce you to. Hey, I'm JC Jones. I actually just moved to Dallas from Los Angeles. So House of Jones is my brand. Since moving to Dallas, it's very important for me to get a space and have a space that is inclusive for all people. That's so why you don't like, like JC. I don't know huh? if why you don't like JC. Um, I don't know her. Oh, you know about me? Yeah, JC, right? Oh, child, I thought you were a fan. Child, you and I both know that you know who I am. I don't even know you. All, all I do you know is that you don't think you got the I'm not finna fucking argue with no bitch with no speech and pin bitch. Keyshawn. Build like a motherfucking Dorito. You know, when people see competition, I don't wanna get there. But that's the thing, at the, at the what was it, the Halloween party, y'all yeah. squashed the beat. Keyshawn, you're very hypocritical. You're over here talking about he's lying all the time or whatever like that, mm. but you lied about not knowing me. We don't have to do this. We, we, don't, we don't even have to be friends. We don't have to do that. If anything, you're supposed to be a fashion blogger. I shoot celebrities every day. But instead, you want to hate on me, and that's not okay. Sweetheart, do you know I'm going on my second day? location right now, bitch, that is a rooftop. Oh, congratulations. You should find Miss Nettie and Mr. Charles. Because yeah. I'm talented, yeah. bitch. Yeah. That's why. Bad boy, girl. Don't let this pretty face fool you, girl. Because I'm from Atlanta, and I know how to do this thing. From Shereen, I can give it up. Oh, oh. Yeah. Give it up. Get out of there. Nice, sir. Nice. So, nice. We definitely nice. have a lot to unpack there. You know, as a viewer, I was so confused. Me I was too. So confused on uh, on where, like, where did this all come from? You know, um, to be honest, I don't know where it all came from. Literally, um, I was expecting to kind of come into this group and even, you know, make some new friends or some new like associates or whatever like that. But like, I was literally met with like hostility, like as soon as I walked in. And as you can see, I was completely caught off guard. Uh, I'd met Sean previously before filming or even deciding to even do um, this situation because my nonprofit that I was the co-executive director at the time had, um, my, my nonprofit had a event at a mansion and I invited the entire cast and Sean actually um, was there. So. Okay. I even have Sean on FaceTime right now. Well, hey. It, Sean's right here. We can't see you, Keyshawn. Okay, that is. Oh, Together. Okay, Keyshawn, well, since we have you on the phone, could you explain at Astro's party, like, where, where did it go left? Y'all did it. Like, it's it's really gonna happen, right? All of us got dressed to be here. Sure, wait, let, let, let them talk. Okay. Let them talk. I'm calling area as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 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 JC already knew I didn't like him. I didn't care for him just as much as he didn't care for me, and he didn't like me. So, my thing is, at Astro Party, I was chilling. I was sitting down minding my business. I wasn't going to feed too much into it. I wasn't even going to bring it up until Robert, you know, said, you know, oh, that's why he might, I might not like him or whatever. And, child, it's, it's not, it was nothing then. It's nothing now. John, I think, I, no, I'm on your side, friend. I don't know what you're talking about. I was on, that's on your side, friend. No, I, 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 I really, you really, really you have my side. back, but you calling me a weirdo no, behind my back. No, you are very weird. You ain't Jedi weird. As I have invited you, you but you still saying that I'm weird. What's weird is the fact that you have your man working two jobs while you chasing your dreams to have your music career. You end up for that. And then it's wrong. You're very fucking weird. So I come up here. It's no smoke. If we be boring, come up here. You and your friend are very fucking weird. Yeah, we're weird. Yeah, so, you are a gas station employee. I need 5.7. Well, I don't work at no gas station. Are you available to come up I'm sorry, come Jen, but I'm not about to get out of bed with a sore throat to argue with the people about their opinions, about how they feel about me. Seven is locked in. Come up, come up here. You and your weird ass friend. Let's go. Oh, girl. Yeah, you're right, old girl. I don't even saw your ass. You're laughing. 
Is he coming? Judge, I'm supposed to smoke. You got smoke? Tevin, yeah, but we can get to know what she wants to ask. How am I weird, girl? What's the smoke? You apologize three times. I did three times. And then you had to smoke about dating. You do the shit behind the scenes. I did apologize. You yeah, but you're still so on social media dating. You're not doing that, Seven. What you make that on social media? You're not doing that. I don't want to see what you got going on. Look, we're that girl. Look, we're that girl. I don't think time to get dressed. Look, we're that girl. You don't want to listen. They invite your friend up. You don't want to listen. Like, this is really legit going on. Okay, so JC, let me ask you. Okay, Keyshawn, since you're on the line. I'm not going to ask you. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. That's not fair to everybody. She got swept up with 103 degrees. Well, I appreciate you calling in. Yeah, appreciate you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so JC, it's what? Bye. It's what Keyshawn explaining. Word ass bitch. I don't. I don't. It's well, you know what? It's all true. Everything is true. Right, it's all true. 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 Yeah, yeah, you got it, bitch. I'm, I'm not. I refuse to argue with a cheap, cheap person. I'm sorry. Keyshawn had been making a lot of comments and accusations regarding your building. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, how does that affect your business? If it even affects your business? Well, it doesn't affect my business, but what it does is it actually makes me um, really. Um, what, what would be the right word? It makes me really. Um, cognizant of the struggle that I go through as a black gay man owning a space in Dallas, Texas, which is an extremely conservative state. My last space that you guys saw, I had an issue. I didn't realize it was beside a church and the church did not want to be beside a gay black person or business. I created House of Jones to be an inclusive space uh, because there's so many people that are in the black, that are black and brown in the LGBTQ AI plus community that don't have a nice space to go to to do balls or do events or if they do have it, it's astronomically priced. So I wanted to have something that was nice and affordable for people, but everybody doesn't see that vision. And you know, you would be surprised about the amount of discrimination that I get on a daily basis on a daily for having a business that is inclusive and that accepts everyone. So for Sean or anybody to try to degrade my business or say things or say things that they don't know the full facts about or to speculate or to put out false narratives that are complete blatant lies, I don't respect that because I truly and genuinely have things that I'm doing every single day. And on top of that, I'm a single father. Yes, and I can attest to his first building he had because there's buildings commercial buildings specifically, they have quiet hours. So with that being said, there's a lot that you face with being a black gay business owner and trying to throw parties, these lavish parties that he does with music. And so they will complain and try to get you out of there for many reasons. Um, but his building was legit. Everything that he had was legit. I mean, there's no such thing as that he never had a building. Hey, man, sister. Legit. So, okay. so, okay. Legit. So, legit. So, Talk about legit. Well, let me ask you, Judge Jeff. We're here in the... Yes, Fab House of Jones. What do you yes, think about it? Um, yes, she, you know, um, surrounding this is very, very hot. That's all I said. It was very, very hot. And, you know, I just wish we had it. But that, and that's the thing, like, I never talked about him, him in order business until after he started disrespecting me. And that's what he doesn't understand. So why can't I reciprocate the energy you're giving me? You know, but that's neither here nor there. Like, he wants to have the energy, I'll keep the same. That's fine. JC, do you regret at all joining the cast? No, I don't regret it at all. Actually, um, I'm disappointed by a lot of the things. I actually, if I'm being completely honest and transparent, I think that I was really naive coming into this situation, thinking that I was literally gonna come in here and genuinely like make friends and be like this kind of hero that does this and that and tries to help everybody or whatever. But the reality of the situation is I'm in a culture or in a, um, in a lifestyle for referring to black gay men specifically that is extremely cutthroat. That is, there is no way around, no, there's no way around it. No matter how much of a light that you want to bring to the table, no matter how good, much good you do, there's always going to be something or someone that tries to tear you down, no matter, no matter what. And so if anything, I don't regret doing it, but I will say that it has made me more focused. Um, it has definitely um, solidified my purpose and what I want to do. I'm actually going to law school. I'll be starting in the fall, in August. I'm going to law school. Um, and also, uh, I actually have another venture that I'm doing uh, because what, what I feel like my 
this whole situation has taught me is that I have to own my own things. It's time for me to stop renting. No one can put you out when you own something, you know, or tell you that you can't do something or no one, you know what I'm saying? So my trajectory moving forward, I've already purchased a piece of land um, in South Dallas. Um, you know, so I'm literally, so I'm gonna move again out of this, <laughs> but it will be into some place that I own. And that is the difference. Do you have a question? So, I, I'm not going to ask any questions. Okay. Okay. Well, I do want to say this. I thought it was very unfortunate that Sean, very claimed that, that Sean claimed that he didn't know JC. But here's the thing. When last season, when JC was not even on the cast yet, JC invited me to a lavish great event. I invited everyone out along with me. And so just a good time at work. They could meet JC, whatever the case is. And who was Sean there? Came so Sean Sean Kane. Kane. Who's there? Sean Kane. 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 I thought that we were still cool, to be completely honest with you. Um, literally, Sean walked in. He spoke to everyone. If you can watch, if you watch the tape slowly, you'll see that he spoke to everyone and stopped at me, which was I'm like, oh wow, okay. I didn't know that we were there, so I just, I, you know, anybody I think would shut down in that, you know, situation. So when I guess Robert again asked, it's uh, asked him about something that was going on between us. It started that whole trifecta again of us arguing. And my whole thing is, I don't know anyone on this cast that if somebody is coming at them, telling the same lies, slandering their name, their business, defaming their character, that's going to sit there and just take it. I'm not Jesus. It may not. Okay. It's not. Okay. It's not. I, I'm, I feel like that's I'm, I'm, not, I'm not finished talking. I get it, but I feel like I'm that's probably, but that's rude. That's, I get it. Okay, go ahead. You're, you're done. Thank you. You're um, check um, check what I'm saying is, you keep saying that, but you have, uh, you, yes, we're going to fight back, but we're going to own that. You, we're not going to just say, oh, um, this person is doing this, this person is doing this, I'm not doing nothing. We're not going to do that. I'm going to say, this person is, did this, so I'm doing this. That's what we don't respect. So you can continue, because I feel like that was directly towards me. Okay, so we have a question from Dontre in Jacksonville. Ted Lee, are you really JC's friend? Because, I mean, you were on live with Robert and Keith agreeing, Correct. you know, what they had to say about him. He never once defended him. Good question. So, yes, we are friends. Whatever goes on, goes on on camera or off camera, that is in, we're friends. I was on several lives more than just a lot with him and other people. Did I make certain disrespectful comments? No. But I did agree with certain things that did occur when we were on certain trips or whatever the case was, yes. But I never slandered his name, never said nothing disrespectful. Just because I'm on a live doesn't mean I'm not someone's friend. And also, I'd like to add to that, too. Just because someone has a friend, the they don't have to. Well, I think I was, was I on a live, a live or something? I think I was on the live and I saw. No, you were not Oh, okay. But the thing about it is, I don't have to agree with somebody 100% for them to be my friend. In fact, I don't want to want a yes person to be my friend, or I don't want to be a yes person to someone. So we can disagree and still be friends. I think you know? the question was, he didn't take up for you. Not if y'all was friends. The fact that he didn't take up for you. Not if he was talking about you. Well, yes, how does a friend sit in a room yeah, while another friend is being question. spoke about I just want and you to not sure. speak up? My Are you right. Was there anything particular? What was it? I'm just, I don't think that he said anything. Next question. Yeah. 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 So you're not offended no. by what he said. You're not offended by the conversation. I do remember the line. You was reading him and you didn't take up for him. That's what the question. How could you sit on live? But he's not my bodyguard either. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I don't need nobody to defend me. I don't need nobody to come to my defense or advocate for me. I spent my entire, most of my life not fitting in or not being, you know, the person, or being the odd person out or being the black sheep. Right now, I'm at a point in my life where can, no one can take my joy away from me. So I don't care how how much my grandness may make you sick. I don't care how much my grandness may make you insecure. I'm going to be grand because that's who I am. I've been this way my entire life. So choke. Okay, well, there you have it. So is there any resolution? To who? With you and Keisha. No. 
and that's it. No, it was a full sentence. Yeah, no, the door is closed. I like, and, and let me tell you why. I'm a very forgiving person. Uh, anybody that genuinely knows me knows me knows that to love uh, to know me is to love me. So if you go so far as to try to tear me down and try to push my character down to the ground, I have no respect for you. No respect. So there's no kind of coming back from that. Like, I just don't want to be around. I have nothing negative. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. Nothing. I just, I, that's not somebody I choose to be around. Rightfully so. Well, that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. I think you, you have your friends, so. Yeah, absolutely. That's good enough. Okay, so now that we've spoke about a couple of situations, we squashed it, we, we closed the book on a few, we're going to go to a commercial break. I'm going to pull down and we'll be right back. What's up? Yes, I'm back with my podcast, Chestnut Checkers with Robert Ray. We're going to get to the nitty gritty with a lot of shit. First and foremost, catch me after the reunion where we're going to talk about a lot of shit. We're going to get to the real. We're going to laugh at a lot of shit. We're going to have fun. We're going to bring people up. We're going to do what we do, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, we're going to be doing it every week, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube, Chestnut Shepherds with Robert Ray. And also my IG, Robert underscore underscore Ray. Come on over to Ray's Island. But hey, don't forget to live life by playing Chestnut Shepherds, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's time to reflect on the personal moments that unfold in our cast members' daily lives. Trauma and emotions, you know, ran high this season. Let's take a journey through these impactful experiences together. I'm mentally not in the space right now to deal with this. And you know that, and it's so tired of you to choose the next time I come back to be this. That is tired. I'll always be there for my son. Yeah. The reason why I went to Los Angeles in the first place is because I'm from Shreveport. There was a glass ceiling. I don't regret leaving because I left to provide an opportunity for my sons that I otherwise would not have had. So I was married before. Wow. I used to have a wife. Yeah. Okay. Four really? years. Men are very important in a child's life. Mm -hmm. Since uh, remotely, I live in Dallas and my child goes back and forth from Dallas to Virginia. It's kind of hard. As my daughter transitioned into being a young woman, I started to learn that it was more so my daughter's choices versus my baby mama's choices, um, you know? Even though that I'm gay, I'm, per I'm a great father, you know what I'm saying? I won't say I'm perfect because I made mistakes. I think after this album, I'm done. With music? Why? Wow. Honestly, after the cabin trip, everyone was gunning for me. I question myself, you know, as an artist, we all question ourselves. Do I need to continue music? Do I want to do this? Is this the right thing for me? Like, it's real life hard out here. I'm working, I'm working real hard for my shit. And I'm trying to get on my shit. I'm trying to get on my feet like everybody. You just got to keep going. You exactly. got to put you first. You were vulnerable to me. It's hard to be vulnerable with some people out of fear that they'll look at you differently or something like that. So even with this whole group, I'm not going to lie. I've been a little disappointed. When you see your parents, um, basically not choose you or the people that are supposed to love you the most like that does something to you and growing up I feel like I took that into my relationships if, if, even friendships like if you don't want to be my friend or if you don't want to I instantly became a cold person like it, it, my switch is either on or off over the summer my little brother 
got hit by a car while he was working. You know, at first, at one point, he was wanting to move up here. He's still thinking about that. Yep. But I'm trying to get myself back up and give y'all what y'all been looking for. That was cute, y'all. That emotion. Trying to make make us not curse each other out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, we're not. Dab, dab. So, Marquise. Yes, ma'am. Robert. Yes. JC. How are you guys' relationships now with the co-parenting and, and parenting? Uh, it's getting a lot better. Um, I'm still going through some court issues and moving forward, but other than that, we're just uh, we're, we're good. We like to face time on Saturday. Love that. It's good to hear. Yes, and my baby, it is a lot better. Even with my baby mama, like we like came a long way. I guess you just grow, you know what I'm saying? And my beautiful baby, she's in college now. She's majoring in physical therapy. And I talk to her every day. She got her first apartment, so I'm gonna move her in in August. Um, like, yeah. So yeah, I'm so I'm in a very good space with with it right now. Well, um, as you guys know, I'm a single dad. Um, I have my 17-year-old lives with me. He's starting his senior year. Um, so he's a teenager that is teenagering. Um, but um, literally, I do it all on my myself by myself. I have no help from his mom. Um, literally, I'm a single father and literally been doing this all by myself for the last four years. So with that being said, um, we're making it. And he is. he came from being with his mom where he was failing and not going to school to now he only has one C on our poor card and there are A's and B's. So, and he's playing varsity football. Like I have a future NFL star on my hand. So like, you know, with that being said, like I just try to push him and teach him. It's almost like I got a little, little room at college roommate or something like, well, my, cause no one ever believes that that's my son. So, but it's going great. It's going great. Nice. Well, we'll call a win win. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, so on your after show, you mentioned that you went through physical and mental abuse with your ex. Where are you currently with that relationship and how are you? For two years, my nervous system was in a state of fight or flight to the point where it was like, I just need to be comfortable and balance this out because if I leave, I don't know what's going to happen. And if I fight, I don't know what's going to happen. So mm -hmm. it was just there, but it took, it took literally almost suicide um i'm doing good uh i am not talking to that man that man is not talking to me i ain't got no nigga ain't no nigga ain't got me okay yeah, um we are currently working on ourselves yes and i'm talking about me as like my whole being um i'm working on myself uh meditating hugging trees and touching grass you know um it was a learning experience because going through this and like putting yourself in an anxiety inducing space while you are also going through an actual like abuse of things like like the things that that man has done it's it's like hard to talk about and going willingly putting yourself in an anxiety inducing space is really hard and i want folks to know like anybody out there that is it's a struggle but you can do it like you can go through what you're going through and you can still move forward and still grow like this is me this is me three months three months after like a very abusive situation like i went to the mental hospital and everything this is me three months after that so um this is a journey but you can grow from that. and you know your shit friend thank you, you. thank you we're definitely glad to see that you're doing good and continue to move forward. Yeah. You definitely are worth it. So, Jet, you mentioned that you wanted to quit music. Are you still in that headspace? Um, not right now, but I'm sure I'll get in that space again. I feel like just as a creative, you do something like want to feel like, am I doing enough? Am I doing what I need to be doing? And so that makes me want to give up sometimes. Because like, by now, I want to buy my mom a house already. You know, like, I want to accomplish things already. You know, so. It's like, I want to write my story, but of course, things will happen when it's time, and I, I get that sometimes, but of course, I'm always going to get my head. I can't help it. Well, we know we need you in the music space, so oh, hang in there. Casey, how is your record? He's doing good. We actually went down there like a couple of weeks ago, and you know, we just showed you know him wanting to move up here, and so they're actually thinking about moving up here in September, so. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go to a short commercial break and we'll be back with your season five, Chase and Dallas.
Hey, hey, y'all. This is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. And I'm here to let you guys know about one of the hottest LGBT panels that's out there right now. And that is The Chasing Panel, which stars Scotty by Nature TV, Jamar84, Give You the Real Tea, Carl, Tramel, and Jeremy Speaks TV. Tune in every week after Chasing Dallas goes off as we give you guys our unfiltered and raw opinions about the show. And not only that, the cast members are also invited to come on the platform and clear things up if need be, all right? And not only are we talking about Chasing Reality related topics, but we will also be going into pop culture as well as after dark conversations. Make sure you guys tune in every week to see us, the six of us, in rare form. All right, if you don't know about it, but well, you better tune in and you better find out about it because uh, it's something. All right, so make sure you guys tune in every week on Scotty by Nature TV. Talk to you soon. Okay, so welcome back to Chase and Dallas season five reunion. To I gave you your highest streaming song to you have no bars, need to work on your metaphors, and we never expected these two artists to clash. Let's flash back to where it went wrong. I would say my trick is Jadel. Oh. Because I just want you to step your bars up. Like, do you think I, you're better? Girl, yes ma'am. Oh, okay. Pastor now has the issue again. I thought we just settled it. He didn't want to apologize anymore. I'm on my second apology at this point. Your feelings are hurt, girl. Get in the motherfucking loop. One thing I am about is artist camaraderie. I gave you a top song. We have the same ears, right? I'm, I hear the same thing y'all hear, right? So you don't have That's no okay. words. You don't like the music. Yeah, right. You don't have no music. Don't get don't have no music. Done. It's up. You are trying to motherfucking down me. Chasing Dallas, don't, not chasing don't, don't, Astro. You're the one trying to do all this shit, and you have Sean trying to ride your motherfucking coattail, Miss Mama. Have a mouth of your own, like the bars that you don't motherfucking have, ho. You know what you do. You talk motherfucking shit, and you try to motherfucking read it. Stop fucking playing with Jet Jeff is not the main culture of hip hop. Look at me. I have everything that not just Astro, but artists would want. I've been coming for you. Seven been coming for you. PC been coming for you. Like, girl, you need to get in the motherfucking boot. I can definitely tell you what you need to work on, but at the end of the day, where is that going to get us? I don't need to hear somebody that is not definitely doing better than me as opinion, and I'm over it, girl. You can keep that to yourself. Seven and Kesey was not coming for him, so I don't know why you said that, but it's cute. Girl, y'all was good. <laughs> he was not it's getting hot in here. So, let's get to the bottom of it. When all of it went down at the Halloween party, why did you feel, Astro, that it was important to, you know, make a comment on Jet's rapping? I was asked the question. I was asked, it was trick or treat. So it was like, who is your trick and who is your treat? This is the game that they came up with. I came up with Yeah, Robert came up with it. When I was asked like the trick question, it was like, well, who you gonna see for and things of that nature. And I've always had like, and I've always expressed the jet about like, how like I think he could work on his penmanship. And I think that he could be a little bit more lyrical because like I see here in other songs and I just don't hear it in the songs that he releases. So, um, so when that question was asked, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, that's a this is the time. This is yeah, Jet. I think you should step up your you could step up your bars, and I think you could do a little bit more metaphors and things of that nature. And then Child, he didn't like that. He did not like that. <laughs> so it was genuine. It was it genuine. It wasn't... came from a genuine place. It was not shade. Um, I understand it was like in a shady manner because it was in front of the whole group, but it was not shade. And I even talked to him after that fact. Like I talked to him that day after the fact off camera about how it was not shame, it was just, I was being genuine and I've expressed that. So Joe, why did it hurt your feelings? Um, well, I saw Astra as a friend. Number one, that was unexpectedly. I did not expect that for him to say that. There was multiple artists in the room, but of course, it had to come from me. But I see Astra as a friend. So the same aggression that, or like upset that, Teddy's upset that Sean didn't come from him one on one, I wish Astro could have came with me one on one. And that would have been like such a different scenario. But, but, I, but I, the that, thing is, the thing is, I, no, 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 no. The thing is, um, I I have talked to him one on one before. You feel me? So I feel like no, we know, hung out, but we didn't talk about like, oh, girl, you should work on your bars. I would have remembered that. Girl. Yeah, we hung out, but we did talk about that in a writing session we had with uh, BC. So, Keith, like, do you remember him saying that? You do. Well, I don't but, remember that. But it was just us three, so I can understand how. Yeah, I, I, I understand, but I have with just us three versus the group, so I understand. But he has been saying. 
And so, and for him to say in a group setting where I'm barely meeting these people, so now he's done open the door for people to come for me now. Like, now the door's open, you can say anything about Jad Jad, and this is how he would react. And so, yes, he did talk to me about after that, you know, that day, but I still feel some type of way. You can say, like, okay, I'm sorry, but like, your friends I still feel some head type up. of way. Your friends hyped your head up, and you still be alive right now, so you think that he can cash you up. Wait, I, I still, it was still in my head, girl. Yeah, but they like, you, you, you think up. I'm going to just get over it. You can't tell me when to get over things. No, I'm, I'm gonna get over what I want. I feel like things. I have to say something. I'm just saying they hyped your head up, and that's why you had got felt how you felt. It was how I felt. I was gonna react how I reacted at that moment. So I, the next one, because they hyped your head up, huh? Because they hyped your head up. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like you, you still make an excuse for me how I felt. Can I not feel how I felt? Like no, I'm not you're saying me that. I'm not making, it, I'm not making excuses. I'm making an observation. They hyped your head up. That's an observation. At the end of the day, I show like you can still disrespect my craft. I can say what you need to work on, but I don't say that. Like we can just move on. I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm here for, for us to move forward. I saw you as a friend. I felt the type of way. You still feel like. I, I just don't understand how you can't still see me as a friend. I never, first of all, you disrespected my character after that. I never disrespected your character. I came for your craft, if anything. That's the first thing. But you still no, 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 listen, like listen, and then the, the, hold on, stop on, talking, now. stop talking, babe. No, I have I'm not expecting you to say, like, I, on, I have something to say, you. and then after that, and then after that, after you felt how you felt because you was, you wanted a pick party and you felt hurt, I don't need a sweetheart, you tried to talk about how I was sleeping with Teddy's man, that's, if that had anything to do with you, reason why I brought that up because, again, you don't take accountability of being a real friend, so I was just comparing that situation. Yes, it has nothing to do with that. That's me and Teddy's relationship. That's not you, but you always I like to dibble. You friend. always like to dibble and dabble in other people's relationships. Right, I do that. I do that. You, I didn't yes, yes, you, yes, you, you do that. You do that. You do that. You dibble and dabble in other people's relationships and things of that nature. Okay, but you've been had a problem with you've been wanting to come for me. I didn't have no issue with you. I had the issue with today. Standing today, girl, I have no issue with you. I open to my door. I never had an issue with you either. It was never an issue, but you made an issue when you started to talk about my personal life. I did not start it. I'm saying I you opened the door for me to say, okay, now I'm going to go for you, girl, because you tested me, you want to test the waters, but now you, you got the whole Well, I guess, but like, that just here. reflects your, that's just reflects your character, that's how you feel about your music. That reflects how you feel about your music. Is this a moment to, like, is, does everyone feel like this comment and this conversation was that serious? No, I think y'all both are super talented. You're talented, you're talented. Y'all are both talented. Yeah, let me just say this. I don't feel like it was that serious, but it was that serious to Jen. So that's what matters the most, even though we don't. Girl, no, 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 Robert, no. That's that pity party shit. He wants y'all to go with pity party. Why is it so much? I don't write my bars. I don't write my bars. I don't write my bars. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't write my bars. You're a fucking rapper getting a fucking booth. Like, what the fuck? You're a fucking rapper. You're a fucking rapper. You're a fucking rapper. Like these are rapper, that's also rap shit. So quick this is some hip hop shit. No, it's not, for, it's, not it's not energy for it's not energy for two. It's hip hop. It's hip hop. It's hip hop. Like come on now, it's hip hop. Get in the booth. Get in the booth. You're a fucking rapper. Get in the fucking booth. Next time on the Chasing Dallas Union. If he feel like that y'all was on a personal note and that you should have came to him personally, you should respect how the fuck you feel. I can't respect how you feel. I, did. I do not like you. You are never nobody that would ever put in my circle. We were all drunk. Literally, y'all were getting to it. And I was trying to be like the comic relief and be like, well, y'all be like J Lo and Ja Rule and do a song together. Area hey, sister, you coming back next season? I feel like, you know, all good things must come to an end. We killing them from Dallas to Georgia. We eating them. Changing. One thing was forgotten. This bitch is a baddie. I crush anything that I'm on. Bow. Bitch, a little baddie. 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 Bitch, a little baddie.